Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Figures. This is a continuation of the construction of our underground complex. For those who haven't watched our previous videos, I'll now show you an overview of what we have. This is our room. Here we've got a panoramic window, an extractor hood and a bed. It's so cozy here that you can live. We also have a very large refrigerator. As you may have guessed, this is a secret door to our other room where we have a kitchen. This is our kitchen. It's compact, slightly smaller than the first room. Here we have all the kitchen utensils, stove, microwave, kettle. Now we have removed all this because we don't have a lock on the door yet. You should agree that the kitchen looks quite atmospheric and stylish. By the way, we've also got a rain collector which Sergei hasn't finished yet, but he'll do it in the near future. We'll also have a sewer system. And the exit from the kitchen leads to the amazing, most refreshing and coolest place in our underground complex. I mean to our large deep pool. This is the largest pool we have ever made. This pool is so large that we collected water here for two days and the water hasn't yet warmed up in a week. It's still cold. So what we are going to do today? Well today we have another unique experiment. We are going to make a house in a giant pile of sand. This idea came to us when the excavator was digging a hole for our house and poured a giant pile of sand. I thought what if we make a house in this hip? But we won't dig into the mountain. We'll take this frame, shatter it with a board, then an excavator will arrive and simply fill it up. We've already started to sheathe our frame with such a solid board that we used for cladding our underground house because there will be the same situation with sand. There will be a lot of soil here which will press on the walls on the roof. Therefore, we need to make this structure as strong as possible. We made such a small hallway so that our pile of sand looks more uniform and beautiful and also so that the sand doesn't get into the house but remains here by the door. So the framework of our house in the sand is ready. We are now covering it with a plastic film so that it is sealed and the sand doesn't fall on our heads. Soon an excavator will arrive here which will fill it all with the sand. It turns out, interestingly, the excavator pours sand on our house, but it doesn't hold up and simply crumbles down. <laughs> Look at the mountain on the top and the house we stand at. This is what I was afraid, that it would not support such a weight. At the moment, there is at least two tons of sand on the roof, minimum two tons. This is really cool and certainly good thing. Our pile of sand is almost ready, but before filling it from above, we need to strengthen what is already there, because it will slide down as before. It's a pity that we didn't do this earlier, but we want to make a hatchway in the roof so that there is an exit through the ceiling to this hill. To do this, we'll have to remove the top layer of the sand, make a hole for the hatchway and then fill it up again. We thought it would be great to give this hill a name. Write your options in the comments. This is our mountain. It's time for some fun. You got to the bottom? Show us the depth. No, it's cold. Yes. How good it is that we made a pool. We have a grand idea to make an underground slide for our pool. It will be super cool. If you also want to see it, then hit the thumbs up and write about it in the comments below. Sergei has already managed to do a lot and I still haven't been in this house. Now it's time to see how it is inside. I'm removing this white protective film. Well, by the way, I really like the entrance. The geometry of it looks so interesting. Well, let's go in. The first thing that is noticed is the grass. Look, there is grass growing here. It's so green. Look what I did here. Wow, what cool stairs. Now we'll have at least one nice stairs. The exit looks so cool. So that you understand how much weight is on top, look at how these boats and the iron corner are concave inward. 
There are several tons on top. So do not repeat this at home because it can be dangerous for your life and health. According to Sergei's idea, our hatchway will go straight to the top of the pile of sand. We have very interesting ideas on how all this can be used. You may ask, why do we need mirrors? Well, we decided to make our walls mirrored. In this way, we increase our space for the house. Look where I am. I can really get to the very top. You climbed out of the hatch like a cartoon. I don't know, I don't watch cartoons. I'm the king of the hill. Well, windows are definitely good, but the problem is that they need to be washed often. In our case, it happens to be two times more often. We arrived today to our house, to our ficus land. As you can see, it rained heavily. We want to see how it's now after the rain. Let's go in. It's clean there, so we have to take off the shoes. Is it wet somewhere? No, the carpet is completely dry. It's so cozy here. It's very dirty outside after the rain, but here it's dry and cozy. Guys, we want to completely plant our ficus land with flowers, so with grass, so that there is just a flower bed here, and it's generally not visible that there is a real complex here. We decided to seize the moment, and while the sand is wet, we want to saw lawn grass on this hill. Last night you caught my eye, so fly, oh my, oh my, I've been this is also another experiment, because our hill consists not only of black soil, rather there is a little of it here, there is sand, clay and some soil, but the grass is a roll, sports anywhere, so we'll wait with you until a small grass grows here. Since it started raining, it's time to finish the rainwater pipeline, because our house should have all communication, including water. What are you doing this here? This is our sewer pipe. The bottom line is this. From here, rainwater will flow into our barrel, into our reservoir. And when the water is filled to this level, the rest of the water will drain into sewer. We'll dig here and make sewer hatch. It will be cool. We'll make it neat. Here we have a faucet, which we can use to wash our hands. Or perhaps later we'll make it even more convenient. Why are you standing outside? Welcome to our house, just take off your shoes. Actually, we were really afraid that it would be very hot here, because here in the very beginning it was like in a greenhouse. But a large layer of soil has done its job, and now it's quite cool here. Now I'm even in a sweater and I'm fine. For the summer, this is what you need. We got a nice rest house. As you can see, there is no sleeping area here yet, but in the future they can be added in the form of folding beds on this wall. All the same, it turned out to be very cozy and comfortable here in order to even sleep on the floor in a sleeping bag. You can even just lie on the floor, it's warm and soft here. And clean. We want to connect the light music and see how many rays there will be, because they will all be mirrored in this wall. But before we do this, we want to climb up and show you how it's like at the top of this sand hill because you haven't been there yet a light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> hey you scared him what are you doing here my cutie he was sleeping there come here I'll pat you you were waiting for me here he didn't come inside the house although we called him yes
By the way, we got the idea to make a slide that will lead to the pool and make it underground. If you like the idea, then hit the thumbs up and write about it in the comments below. It will go somehow like this under the ground and there we will have to drain a little water. And now it's disco time. Wow, look how beautifully it mirrors the lights. It feels like you are in a huge room. Disco room. Here you can see a little, but there's so many. It turned out to be a cool house, write down what to build next, an underground tunnel slide, a garage or maybe an underground vegetable garden. We want to keep building our underground complex city and we need your support. Give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Also don't forget to watch our previous videos, it was interesting and pick us with you. See you next Sunday. Blah, blah.